everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome back to my kitchen and today we've got something special that can prepare you for your Independence Day celebration. Everybody loves a barbecue and this is some delicious red onion hot dog sauce. If you know anything about a New York style hot dog cart, this red onion sauce is available on all of them. And boy, is it a winner. Used to be able to get it in my grocery store and I can't anymore, so guess what? That means I have to learn how to make it. And boy, did I. This stuff is so delicious, you'll wanna put it on everything, not just your hot dog. Let's go see how this all comes together. Alright, now we're going to go over the ingredients for our red onion hot dog sauce. And if you're not familiar with this, then you probably have never had like a New York style hot dog from a cart. Because if you go to a good old fashioned hot dog cart, they will always ask you if you want the onion sauce. Now, I don't really recall the first time we ever had this, but I know it wasn't here. I know it was in Arizona. We had it somewhere. It was There was a hot dog cart out in front of some store we went to, and they asked if we wanted the onion sauce, and I'll tell you, we've been in love with it ever since. Now, Sabrett's makes an onion sauce that you can get in a jar. Our grocery store used to carry it, but alas, they no longer do. So, you know what happens when that happens? Then Noreen has to go to the drawing board and start figuring out how to make something. So we're going to show you how I make my version of red onion hot dog sauce. Now, some people do actually make it with red onions, and that is your that can be your preference if you like. I am making mine with sweet Vidalia onions, and we're going to start off with four rather large onions that I have sliced fairly thin. Now, you can use a mandolin or a food processor. I have used my nanny's good old-fashioned harp slicer and this thing is amazing and I don't even know how old it is this was hers my mom has another one um, that was hers as well but you know what I did I took this part off and I took my Raiden knife sharpener and I ran it over this part which is the blade and then you just kind of push the onion over this and then it comes down on the underneath did a great job. So four large onions of your choice, and then we're gonna need four cups of water, and I am using a pointing stick, so if I offend anyone, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, this is only so that I can indicate what things are. Four cups of water, quarter cup of, or half a cup of white vinegar, half a cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of tomato paste. You can use tomato powder if you want, in which case you're gonna wanna use four tablespoons. Um, four to five cloves of garlic minced, and then we have our spices. A tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon each, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and mustard powder, dry mustard. And then later, after we reduce this whole shebang, we're gonna come back and we're gonna make a slurry out of about two tablespoons of water and a tablespoon of cornstarch. And that's just to thicken it up after it has reduced, and it gives it that nice, beautiful, unctuous body that you want in a hot dog sauce so that it kind of sticks. It's a beautiful relish. You can eat it cold or warm and we love it. Now it's called red because it has a tomato product in it and it turns red when you finish cooking it. You can use red onion and I have some, seen some people do it so that's up to you. But um, we're also going to need two tablespoons of a neutral vegetable oil, and I have that heating on the stove, and we're going to go over there, and we're going to start cooking this whole shebang up. Okay, now I got my oil just heated over this. I've got it on medium-high heat. Now, the one thing you don't want, you do not want, you don't want to brown the onions, okay? No caramelization here. You just want to sweat them. So you just want to get them in the pot and then kind of toss them the best you can and get that oil going with the onions, okay? The rest of this is super easy. Now, it may look like a lot of onions, but onions cook down a lot, okay? So you gotta start with a lot, even if you only want a little. Of course, you can always make half of a recipe, and for those of you who I know are gonna ask, this is not a canning recipe. Okay, if you want an onion relish, I recommend that you go searching for one in either the Ball Blue Book or the website for the National Center for Home Food Preservation for a safety tested onion jam or onion relish recipe. You're not probably going to find a recipe for onion sauce. There goes our onions, our garlic, and our oil. 
Now I'm gonna just go ahead and add the spices in there. Don't worry too much about getting full incorporation between each addition because we're gonna be adding some water in here and then it's just gonna kind of reduce down. So you just don't want it all to be in one big clump, that's all, all right? This is really easy, it just takes a little bit of time. Just like anything good, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, huh? I don't know. Oh yeah, I put our spices in there, here goes the brown sugar. Um, a lot of recipes for this call for cinnamon. Rick doesn't really care for cinnamon in savory things, so um, we're leaving that out. I'm gonna put in our tomato paste. If you're using tomato powder, you just add it at this point. Um, I thought about adding tomato powder in here, but I had a tube of tomato paste in the fridge. Really needs to get used up, so. It smells amazing already. Mm -hmm. In with our vinegar and our water. And then let's give it a really good stir and let's get all of those flavors going in there and get that tomato paste broken down, part of that liquid. And now all you gotta do is bring this to a simmer and you're gonna wanna let this simmer for a good 20 minutes and then we'll be back and we'll check on it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I didn't bring you back in 20 minutes. It has been 40 minutes and this has just been simmering over medium heat and I have come over and I've stirred it every now and then. What you really wanna do is make sure it's reduced by half. Now you see, this no longer looks watery. It's thickened up and that liquid has definitely reduced and it's flavor packed now. It smells amazing oh, smells in incredible. our house, doesn't it? Yes, it smells incredible. So now what we're gonna do is I went ahead and I mixed up the water and the cornstarch and I'm just gonna pop that right on in there and give it a good stir. And this is just going to kind of tighten up that sauce a bit. You're gonna to want to stir and stir and stir and you're gonna want them to come back to a boil and you're gonna to wanna to let that simmer until it turns clear. Like it's not gonna look cloudy anymore, okay? Or to the best of your ability because it looks cloudy before you put the stuff in there anyway. But, but you can, it sounds different now that you've put the cornstarch slurry in there it's gotten a little bit thicker and this is going to be oops sorry that was probably an accident mm -hmm. um it's going to be lovely and thick and it's going to just kind of cling to your your hot dog that doesn't sound right does it but mm -hmm. <laughs> oh dear <laughs> i don't think i like stuff clinging to my wiener My 12 is showing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I think I'm leaving that in. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I dare you. Oh, you dare me. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you triple dog dare me? Yeah, I triple dog dare you. Come back. Come back. <laughs> Don't go. Okay. Um, anyway, enough of that business. We're done. Your red onion hot dog sauce is ready to be enjoyed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this kind of hang out for a little while so it um, loses some of that heat temperature wise and then I'm gonna bring you back and we're going to serve up a little bit and we'll show you what it looks like. We're probably gonna we're just gonna pop it in a jar. You can eat this warm or cold. You're gonna wanna keep this in an airtight container. It's gonna be good for up to three months. Like I said, you can always make a half a recipe. This is not a canning recipe, but you can keep this in your fridge for a good long time. It's not gonna spoil because we've got the vinegar in there and the sugar and lots of salt. It's not nice preservative. So you're gonna be good to go. I cannot wait to taste this. Okay. It smells amazing. We'll meet you back at the counter and we'll give it a try. There you have it. There is our red onion hot dog sauce, and I know you're gonna love it. I have to tell you, we've already tasted it, and it's really good, but Rick hasn't tasted it since it cooled down because you know he's always gotta risk it, right? Mm -hmm. So, you see how beautiful this is? I mean, it's gorgeous, look at that. It's just, oh, I've made up a couple of Bronx Bomber dogs over here, and we're gonna share those with you in another video, but this is just a typical delicious New York hot dog, hot dog. What do you think, babe? I think it's double. Oh, it's good. 
It's really good. It's just got right the right amount of mm -hmm. sweetness and tanginess and onioniness. It's mm -hmm. just going to be the best complement to your hot dog. That is delicious. Uh, it's good. Trust me. And this made a lot. If you want to make a half of a recipe, you go right ahead and adjust it. And if you like it a little bit on the spicier side, feel free to add some red pepper flakes and or some cayenne pepper. Um, that's up to you. I prefer not to have something like this to be too spicy because I want everybody to be able to enjoy it. So stay tuned for our video on the Bronx Bomber Dogs. And I hope that you give this a try because I think that you're totally going to love it. I can see this being used in so many things. This would be a great base for barbecue sauce. This would be great on a hamburger or a bratwurst served as an accompaniment to grilled chicken. It's just really amazing. It's really delicious. And you, it makes enough that you can share it with people. That even be good on a steak. Oh, it would be good on a steak, absolutely. So I hope you give this a try. Um, I hope that you love it. And if you did enjoy today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, welcome. I always enjoy having new people visit me in my kitchen. And um, if you are one of my tried and true subscribers, please be sure and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you will give this red onion hot dog sauce a try for your independent Day celebration or anytime, and I hope that you love it. And until next time, happy eating!